Well, we're still here in the Food is Fun Pavilion. I'm joined now by Judy Pride from Children's Hospice Southwest. Hello, good morning. Um, so tell us what Children's Hospice Southwest are doing here today. Well, we're here, as you can see, selling cupcakes and uh, providing a cafe, really, for people who perhaps just want to come in, sit down, take the weight off their feet before they go and buy some more food outside, and also to promote what we do, because we have so many families in this area who are still not aware that we're now able to provide our special service so much closer to home, because our new Hospice Little Harbour is only just over an hour's drive from central Plymouth and already we've got so many families that are gaining extra support and we need to really make sure that everybody's aware of what we do. So we're just here talking to people, giving them a nice cup of coffee, promoting as you can see uh, our walk which takes place on the 29th of September excuse me uh, and making sure that all the ladies perhaps come and join us have a bit of fun and this isn't the first time Children's Hospice Southwest have been involved in Flavour Fest I know you were here last year when they were doing the record for the most numbers of cups of tea so this has been an important event for you we've been here as guests of Castle Kitchens now for four years and so this is an annual event for us and gives chance as I say to, to promote what we do but to meet everybody which is the most fun thing we can possibly do. Everybody's incredibly supportive and it's just nice to be able to explain to people that a children's hospice actually isn't where children come to spend the last few days of their life, it's where they come to live. They come to have a great time. And you mentioned that second hospice, the one near St Hostel, and how important is it to have that facility, as you say, nearer to Plymouth, nearer to places like that? Even more than we expected. Uh, we have been thrilled and amazed by the numbers of families that we've already looked after, and we only opened on the 3rd of January. We have more families already than we ever dreamt we would look after in the first year. And they're getting such fun out of it. And it was actually a Plymouth family. Um, the mum said that she'd a been able to have her first holiday in, t in four years. She trusted us enough to leave her little one with us and to have some time away with her husband and really enjoy her 40th birthday. And I guess it is that element of, of trust and knowing it's somewhere that, that children can come and, and obviously be taken care of. And, and I guess for parents, as you say, that's such an important thing. There are very few places where if you have a child with so many complex needs that you can go knowing that they are well looked after medically but also they're having fun. The hospice has the most amazing facilities. We have jacuzzis, sensory rooms, playrooms, beautiful grounds. So it's not like spending an extra few days in hospital where mum and dad can perhaps have a bit of a rest. This is a holiday for the children and most families actually stay with us. They don't like to leave the hospital because they say why bother because it's such a wonderful place and of course the most important thing is that the well children get time to really enjoy time with mum and dad being with their poorly brother or sister in a particular place where that that fun is supported so the things that are a little bit more difficult for most families like going to the swimming pool actually become possible and uh, Judy, thank you ever so much for speaking to us. We should probably get a very quick shot of the beautiful um, cupcakes that you're selling at the moment. We shouldn't uh, shouldn't leave them as we're here at Flavor Fest. Uh, but thank you ever so much for speaking to us. Pleasure. Thank you very much.